TelevisionInfo.com. I'm Josh, and we're going to talk about the Samsung ES8000. Right, the Samsung ES8000 has a lot of features, uh, being Samsung's flagship model that the other TVs don't have, and one of them is uh, that comes with it is this smart remote that's got a touchpad and a microphone built in. Now, if you've got a smart TV from Samsung, you can buy this remote separately, so you know it applies to people besides those who bought the ES8000. Um, and essentially what it does is it makes navigating Samsung Smart Hub a lot easier than using the directional buttons on uh, your standard infrared remote. So yeah, we're going to demonstrate some of the features that you can do with this remote. Um, pretty much if you see right here, it's split into two areas, a silver area at the bottom and a black area at the top. The black area is the most important one because that is a trackpad. So, Slide your finger over it, and it'll act like a trackpad on a laptop. And you can scroll up, down, you can, you know, click in to select. And then we'll get to the web browser, if you want to show off any of this. Yeah, so the web browser, um, which is a little bit zoomed in right now, but, so once you're in the web browser, your thumb acts as a cursor, and as you can see, this thing is Bluetooth, so I don't have to actually point at the TV. It knows where it is, even if I'm way over here. Um, it's also got, as I said, it's got a built-in microphone. So when you click on your search engine, it's going to bring up a keyboard. But if you want to, you can search something uh, just using voice. You just click the button here. On probably can't see it from there, but there's a little voice button that says voice right on the on the remote, so you just click it. Television. Yeah, and then there it we go. registers what I said, and then you can just click the pad again and it will search for it. Or no, it should. And then I do a little thing with the I mean I can click the search button here. <laughs> uh, alternatively could, if you don't want to use the voice function, you can bring up a uh, text input screen. A QWERTY keyboard will come up on the screen, and you can, you know, select each letter manually. So, let's right. try that. Yeah. So if I want to modify my search here, um, I go click on this, and then say I want to look for television shows. In, you know, and it's it's not uh, it's not perfect. I mean, trackpad's a little overly sensitive. I think um, tends to jump a lot further than you need it to, uh, compared to say the how the feel of like a laptop trackpad. This this one's a little more a uh, little more sensitive, and also with the area of the thumb, it tends to press in more than one spot at once. So if you're using your thumb, sometimes you'll put it down to try to go up and it will catch the bottom side of the pad and go down. So right now I'm scrolling up and it's, and it's just sitting there because it thinks I want to go down. But it does make searching a lot easier and it's a lot easier than using the navigational arrows on the infrared remote. Um, yeah, so this is available for Samsung TVs. Uh, it comes with the ES8000. You can also buy it separately for, it'll work with any 2012 uh, smart TV from Samsung. Uh, and that is the smart remote.